so as the only uh, fellowship trained endovascular neurosurgeon in the state, I'm able to provide um, a high level of, of care uh, in, uh, for patients suffering from diseases including strokes and brain aneurysms and arteriovenous malformations. In other words, diseases that affect the brain and spinal cord. Endo meaning inside vascular, the vessels. So these are procedures that I'm able to perform from inside of the blood vessels in a minimally invasive fashion. In 2015, uh, for the first time in our scientific literature, we were able to show that procedures that a surgeon like myself can do endovascularly can lead to better outcomes in patients suffering from stroke. Some of the patients that I take care of as an endovascular neurosurgeon are amongst the sickest that neurosurgeons take care of. These include patients that have suffered from strokes. These are patients that have suffered from both uh, ruptured and unruptured brain aneurysms. Um, there's entities such as arteriovenous malformations, abnormal connections between blood vessels uh, that uh, um, I take care of endovascularly. Um, beyond those major issues are uh, tumors of the brain and spine that I can help to treat endovascularly. But I fell in love with uh, Lewisburg when I went to Lewisburg to visit the campus. It was beautiful. It was March. Um, it was just completely different than the dry Arizona desert that I was used to. Uh, but I, I, um, I fell in love with the school and uh, knew that that's where I should move my family and, and start my, med my formal medical education. So when it came time for me to go on my clinical rotations as a third and fourth year medical student, I selected CAMC. Uh, because there were neurosurgeons here that I could rotate with and, and learn from.